We're now in a relatively new high school built in 2004. 2004. 2004. With me, you know, is Leroy, who is the, you know, you are the district-wide facilities manager. Um, custodian. Custodian. With this school, we have available to us, you know, a full set of blueprints for this building. This makes our life dramatically simpler. We've got all the information that we need here in these documents to allow us to identify the point of entry, to identify the flow of the pipes, the main back to our tree analogy where the trunk is coming into the building at the point of entry in the mechanical room, the main trunk of the tree which then feeds the various wings of this building into the branches, then out into the specific locations where we have drinking water outlets. One of the other reasons why it's essential to have people from the custodial staff or the facility staff when you're doing this review is they know where all the locations are already where drinking water is going to be consumed. So again, you can identify those locations on these documents without even leaving this office space. This is the mechanical room. That's our point of entry. This is where the service line you know, is located in this mechanical room here first point where water enters the building. We can identify on this document the cold water pipes, the hot water pipes, the hot water circulation pipes, so we can see all the main branches of water in our little water tree flowing out of the mechanical room and in various directions. In this case, it flows out of the mechanical room to a main hallway, flows up a main hallway, and then has smaller branches that feed wings of this building. Once we've got that location of the mechanical room, the point of entry, the service line, and the main flow of water throughout the building, we can put the blueprints off to the side and then work with a much less detailed document like this, which is basically just the floor plan of the building. All the classrooms are identified, all the buildings, all the hallways are identified in here, even down to the level of sinks that are drawn in specific classrooms. And then with Leroy and the other individuals who know the building and how it's actually being used, we'll juxtapose onto this document, going back to our mechanical room, our point of entry, lay out the path of the main branches of the water flow throughout the building, down hallways, into individual classrooms so that we'll know from this working document where the water starts from the building, where it flows through, and where the dead ends are at the ends of each one of the hallways. So once we've taken this floor plan, put onto it the actual flow leaving from the mechanical room, which we had right over here, and laid out the main branches of the water flow the sub-branches down the hallways, and then the final flows down to the leaves of our tree into the specific locations that need to be tested. We will validate all of those drinking water outlet locations by doing a walkthrough of the building. Using this completed floor plan, you can determine the order that the drinking water outlets are to be sampled. Beginning at the drinking water outlet closest to the point of entry, which is where the service line enters the building, and moving downstream throughout the school. This determined sampling sequence of the drinking water outlets is to be documented on the drinking water outlet inventory. 